So I got a little bit of movement in the uh, little tertiary valley to the left. And you There's movement in there. There's three dudes. I feel like I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like that was added, like that 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 whole audio thing was like. <laughs> um, uh, look, guys, Mike Glover here. Actual, you can call me Mike Glover. Actual, because that's what I use when I'm getting suppressed by social media, and and I could break away and kind of as a contingency be that actual. Um, Mike Glover, actual here. We're doing combat reacts footage. A lot of narration is done on these videos. I want to kind of give you some of the perspective. If you haven't tuned in. He started at like number one, former Special Forces Sergeant Major, a former CIA contractor, and a guy who owns a preparedness company um, that teaches all over the United States. Not just me, but a lot of instructors, a lot of good people. All right, my assumption here is that they just got shot at. They literally just got shot at with a Dishka machine gun. So they're pointing it out. Look, I'm cold. Uh, analyzing this entire video. So let, let me tell you guys, these guys are getting shot at with a Dishka machine gun. It's a Russian machine gun that's used for anti-aircraft ma mainly. I mean, uh, typically it's set up um, for, for anti-aircraft. I've been shot at Dishkas uh, on the ground in vehicles and even inside of a helicopter. Um, not fun if you're getting shot at with Dishka. Um, the Dishka, fun fact, is a 50 cal and was the only 50 cal prior to World War II and is still in service today, used by terrorists. All right, let's continue. Around uh, a little over 12 millimeter diameter round, very deadly when it hits you. Let's get it out! Come on, come on, Who's that guy? Oh yeah, look at this guy. Uh, um, let me just back it up a second so you can see this. Um, these things, these big ass vehicles are MRAP vehicles at this time period, not sure, but this is the MRAP days. Um, we are building kind of these V-shaped hold vehicles because we needed to dissipate the explosion so we wouldn't get decimated off the planet because we're in a flat bottom Humvee. When I see these vehicles, it gives it makes me cringe. When I was in Afghanistan, I was in an open uh, modified Land Rover, a 110 Defender chopped. And, and why would you? Well, why would you be against armor? Well, because when you start armoring yourself, you get in a position right here where you can't even see really what's going on, except there is a tactical advantage in this particular system. This is called an RWS or remote weapons system where he has a 50 cal mounted, likely has like a pod of some kind where he's able to see with magnification where the enemy's at. And he's able to shoot and respond reacting to contact with a similar S caliber, which means he's uh, he's he's reacting in the same range of machine gun, and that's pretty cool. I like it. Big shout out to Hunter first. Watch me. Hey, I'll either go up, left, right, or back. I don't like Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Fields there, um, on glass directing where the gun uh, the gun needs to orient orient. I don't like that because I want to see the guys do that, but he's a sergeant major. He can do whatever he wants. He's still too low. Oh, nice. Good shot. Yeah. Uh, one person is injured now. Yeah, one, person is injured. one person injured. He's okay, but his legs are okay. They're reporting everything's okay right now. It's not gonna be okay. They don't, they don't know what's about to hit him. That dude looks kind of familiar, but I like it. I like where this is going. I already know where this is going um, because you can see the title in the upper left-hand corner called "Airstrike on Taliban Snipers." But <laughs> I love, like, my favorite is the uh, intercom traffic. Um, we call it ICOM traffic. <laughs> when you have ICOM traffic, it's coming from the radio interception of these dummies talking to each other and then our interpreters interpreting what they're saying. So, you know, the the dude's on top of the hill, he's like, I just got shot in the legs. And then the interpreter's like, yeah, he just got shot in the legs. And the Americans are like, oh, the dudes are wounded, they just got shot in the legs. Let's just drop a bomb on them. I, I already know where this is going and I like it. Roger that, I need to go to the left of that. There's a wreck on the left side of that. Give me 
three shots right there for right now, so we're going to walk you right on her. What would make you think to go against a uh, uh, entire fleet of vehicles as a lone indigenous operator? Bewildering, but th that's what happens. That was a fi that looked like to be a 500 pounder. That's what he said. Oh no no, that's what she said. <laughs> you can see the dude uh, sloppy the junk wagon with his chin strap up on his mouth. That's likely the interpreter. Watching us for a while, they're moving in position. They don't think we can harm them. Uh, no offense to interpreters, that are squared away. <laughs> I love that dude. I lo so look. Like, like the guys that are riding their bikes through this, people forget, like, Afghanistan is like any other country except uh, very uh, dangerous and dirty and not the best country. Um, but if, if you're looking at, like, in Afghanistan, people live their normal lives. I've been in, let me just digress real quick. I was in Iraq once on containment on the backside of an objective, providing containment for the assault force. I was a sniper, so we were outside trying to kill bad guys that were in and around the objective. And a group of men started walking towards me in track suits like like literal track suits and i was like uh what's going on they couldn't see me because i had night vision on i had a gun that had an infrared laser zero to it but as they're walking towards me i pull my turp and i'm like dude what, who are these dudes and he goes let me find out he goes up to them and they are part of the iraqi soccer team and they just won a game and they were celebrating and they walked up to us and through us because they had to get down the alleyway and they were like, what's going on? I was like, none of your business. Get the hell out of here. And then I'm like, what happened? Like, oh, we just won the soccer game. Not fans, literal players on the Iraqi soccer team. I gave them a high five. They went on the way. We killed bad guys. It was pretty cool. Those bullets coming to you. You were close enough to hear the zzz go by. Huh? Gunfire buzzes when it's close enough to you. It sounds like a bee passing over your shoulder. And that's when we knew that things were serious. Whoa. Uh, um, big shout out to Big Army for dropping bombs on bad guys. Guys, if you like Combat Reacts, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little notification tab in the upper right-hand side of the subscribe because you're not going to get the notifications if you don't. I hope you like this experience. I I I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. If you're having fun, leave your comments below and, and feel free to troll. I know I'm going to get trolls like, who the f*** is this guy? You, you could probably bleep that, right? You could bleep that. Who the f*** is this guy? I, I, I'm nobody. I'm just a dude. Uh, but I'm having fun. And if you're having fun, I'm all about it. Till next time. Peace.